Why do patients who are in AFib get blood clots? All right, got my heart here, boom. Normally what happens with people is you have a normal contraction in, in your um, atria and then your ventricles contract. We get blood all over the body, love it, lovely, lovely things happen, right? But when someone has AFib, instead of a really good smooth contraction where the contraction itself forces all of the blood that is in the chamber out and into the next chamber, into the ventricles, when someone is an AFib, what happens is they do a little quivery, just a little quiver, right? Um, or fibrillates, it fibrillates, okay? So when you go from this to this, naturally, you're not gonna squeeze all the blood out of there. Sorry, y'all. All right, so the blood's not getting all squeezed out of there. What, wh where's it going? What is it doing? It's just sitting there. When blood sits somewhere, what happens to it? It coagulates, it gets thick, and it turns into clots, okay? And then what happens is eventually the blood that's been sitting there eventually will go into the ventricle and maybe out into the lungs and into the circulation. So if you think about it, you get, if this is your right atria here, and then we get some blood that was kind of hanging out here, and then it breaks off and it comes through here and down into that right ventricle and up into the pulmonary artery and into the pulmonary vasculature, that's gonna be a pulmonary embolism. Now, let's say that it actually happens on the left side of the heart here and it is coagulated here, it goes into the left ventricle, well then it's gonna go out into the aorta into the rest of the body. And where is the path of least resistance? It's up the carotids. So you can see that here and it goes up to the brain. Bad news bears, y'all. So what you're gonna find is if someone is newly in AFib, they're going to um, try to convert them out to get them back into normal sinus rhythm. But timing is so key here. We have to know exactly when they flipped into AFib because the longer that those atria were fibrillating, the longer that blood is sitting there and that it had time to coagulate. So think about this, let's say you have someone who has been an AFib for a while and we flip them into normal sinus. So instead of going like this, we're now having those great smooth contractions. That's gonna kick all of those blood clots and that coagulated blood out from the atria into systemic circulation. Naturally, we can't have that, so these patients are gonna be put on blood thinners likely. Um, so if your patient flips into AFib, very important to know the timing. And if you like that, check out my cardiac course. It's the link in my bio.